What is up everybody? I am Alex from Level Up Plus VFX and today I want to show you two very quick methods that you can use in Nuke to degrain and regrain your footage. These are what I call by far the quickest and easiest uh, degrain and regrain methods and they have worked for me on about 99% of all of the comps I've done throughout the years. So how do you do them? Well, the first one is very easy, and this is the one that honestly usually just works. You really don't have to do much more than this. However, we will be talking about the slightly more complicated one uh, and why you might need to use it uh, in just a minute here. So how do you do it? So we're using a reduced noise node, and this is Neat's uh, you know, noise reduction program. It is not a free plugin. However, I highly recommend you get it if you haven't. It blows the degrain noise for Nuke out of the water. So once we have our plate degrained, we're gonna go ahead and add a merge node and switch it over to the minus operation. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that we plug A into the plate and B into the reduced noise node. This is because we're always gonna be doing A minus B. So if we were to switch these up and subtract, you know, the reduced no or subtract B from A, you're actually gonna end up with negative values. Think of it this way. When you're reducing noise, you're actually removing information from your shot. And you never want to be subtracting something that has more information from something that has less information because you're just gonna go into the negatives and that just won't lead to the same effect when you add it back over because you're gonna be adding negative values. So make sure A is in the plate and B is in your reduced noise nub. Now, I went ahead and I simply removed this little power washer we had in the corner over here on my reduced noise plate, and now I'm ready to regrain my footage. And it's as simple as adding a merge node and switching it over to the plus operation. For this one, we don't care whether or not A is plugged in to which socket because it's just addition. And addition, you know, can't go into the negatives. Uh, it, you know, one plus one still equals two no matter which way you switch it up. And that's all there is to it with this method. If I go ahead and A and B the plate with my comp, you can see that the grain is identical throughout the two shots. Again, though, if we were to switch this minus node up and we A and B it, we would see that the grain is completely different. And that's the importance of keeping these in the right order. If we go ahead and run this through a difference node, we'll see that the only thing changing in our shot is the little power washer that I painted out. And that is a shot that is complete. Let's move over to the more complicated method. Something you might have noticed in the merge minus node that we looked through is that there are these black spots. These are spots that actually don't have grain because the luminance values were so high that the camera just didn't capture any grain on them. Uh, digital grain often is affected by the luminance values that it receives. So if you have a shot where you need to make something that has a high luminance value into something that has a low luminance value, you'll end up with something that looks a little bit like this. Now, how do we fix it? Well, we're gonna start the exact same way we did in the previous shot. We're gonna go ahead and add our reduced noise, we're gonna minus it, and we're gonna have the problem that we were just facing of having these dark spots here. Let's say that instead of wanting to remove the power washer, which has the same luminous values over here, we're gonna to wanna to do something like remove this headlight. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like here. And how do we do this while retaining noise that doesn't exist? Well, we're gonna to have to create that noise. The only difference from this comp, aside from little changes that I made with my transforms, is adding this F regrain node. So when we add this F regrain node, which is a furnace core plugin, it's going to give us two uh, little tickers here, the source and the grain. You want to plug the source into your comp and the grain into your plate. When you plug that in, you'll get this little box here. You're going to want to position this box over the area of grain that you want that source to have. So for example, in this shot, I'm replacing it this I'm replacing this light with this dark area. So I want to source my grain from right here. Go ahead and click analyze, and then you'll be able to look through your footage. And then I adjusted it until I felt it looked good, which for me was these settings, but these will change from shot to shot. Now, we're not complete because if we just added our grain back over now, we would actually have certain parts of the shot where the grain is being doubled, and you don't want that. So we need to isolate the regrained part of the footage. I went ahead and added a roto node where I rotoed out this portion of the headlight, and then I used that as a mask for my merge operation. I then also added another merge and did a stencil operation on our minus node. So if we look through it here, now we have a hole wherever we were doing any work. 
So the only thing that's changing in this scene is going to be in this area that we did our work. Then, and only then, can you add it back over, and your grain won't be doubled, and it should look just fine. If this tutorial helped you, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, go ahead and subscribe. I've been Alex from Level Up Plus VFX. Take care and have a good one.